And I don't, let me put it against my black hat. Does that help you look at it against the black? Okay, this is like, what am I doing? Oh shit. Hi friends and welcome to today's video. I know it's been a minute since I have come on here to film and chat with you guys. And yeah, I tried filming a video right before this that kind of got into it and it was all over the place. So maybe I'll try again at some point. But that being said, I am happy to be back and sit down and just talk with you guys about these new Impress nails. They look very similar to these guys right here. But these ones are supposedly thinner. They're supposed to grab onto your nails better. And yeah, I just figured I would hop on here and just share with you my opinions on the differences between the old and the new. If I do see any big differences, all that jazz because I held off on trying the new ones for a while just because I have so many in my collection already that I need to use up. I didn't really think there'd be a big difference. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on these nails, then please keep watching. Okay, so with these nails, the old ones, and these are the chrome, these are in the style Gold Digger. Since the last video I posted, I'll go ahead and I'll link that in the eyes right here. You can click that. It's a tutorial on how to apply them. That was probably a year ago at this point. At that time, I didn't realize that Impress recycles their names, which I think is so weird. These ones are called Gold Digger, but there's a Gold Digger that's purple that came out after these. I mean, they just, they reuse their names, which I don't fully understand but i got these recently in walmart if you guys have been watching me for a while you know that's very exciting for me they're my grandmother's favorites i should say they were my grandmother's favorite but anyways let's get into the purpose of this video the biggest difference that i noticed between the old impress nails and the new impress nails is that at least in this style Gold Digger, the old Impress Nails, the chrome is much more brilliant. They're both shiny, but the old ones are definitely brighter and bolder. Like the chrome is brighter and bolder. You still get your prep pad, the little push stick, where is it, right here, and then this little mini nail file that I use to scuff up my nails before I apply them. That's all still right here in the underside, and then you still just open them up, and they're right there. To me, these glitter ones look exactly the same. This is the old and this is the new. Okay, hold on, let me try taking a picture with my phone. All right, sorry, please excuse the makeup that's all over the table. I just did my makeup here, but these right here, these are the old ones and these are the new ones. So hopefully you can see what I'm saying, at least with the chrome, the old ones are just a little bit more brilliant than these new ones. Also, while I'm here, I think you'll be able to see it better. The thing that I noticed, this is upside down. The glitter looks exactly the same to me, but the tabs on the old ones, they don't have numbers, and the ones on the new ones do. Let me switch back to the better camera to discuss. Being able to see the numbers, like that is so helpful. For sizing, the higher the number, the smaller the nail. So like size zero is this big boy right here. That would be for somebody's thumb. And then I believe size 11 is the smallest it gets. And size 11 is what I wear on my pinky. And so that's just really helpful to be able to see it on the tab before you apply it. Now, if you haven't seen any of my videos on impressed nails and you've never really applied impressed nails, I would pause the video now and definitely watch that first tutorial that I did because that's gonna go over how to apply everything because right now you're probably like, what are these tabs? What, are, what is this? But basically you just peel those off and then stick them right on your nails. You don't need glue. So that is still the case for the new Impress nails. The other thing that I noticed is they're slightly like thinner and I feel like they have a little bit more 
give to them. And with that being said, I do think that they grab onto your nails and kind of shape to it, like cling to it tighter, and it looks more natural even. They're just as easy to apply. I feel like they stay on, like the wearability of them is still about the same. One thing I have noticed that I didn't really catch on to when I filmed the first time that tutorial is no matter what I do, they are gonna start to lift after about a week right at like where the cuticle is. What I've done is I get this brush on nail glue, Sally's makes one, it's super affordable, and I just kind of touch up where it's starting to lift, and that seems to fix the issue for me. And then I think the last thing that I noticed, at least with this style, the chrome on the old ones would kind of wear and chip a bit, and you would see the black color underneath the chrome. And I believe that happens when you, at least it happened to me when I would get the real chrome manicure done. They do the black base typically, and then they rub the powder chrome on. It would happen after like a few days on my real nails when I would get them done, they would chip, um, and not chip, but you would see the black come through the chrome. On the old ones, that happened after I would say like a week or so. The new ones, I'm not really sure, it is different. It's like I could see almost in some light where it was starting to come off a little bit, but it was like the under part, the, the layer beneath the top, it was almost like, a chrome it was like a second layer of chrome so it wasn't as noticeable when you would move your hand around so i did like that better overall i would have to say i think that the new impress nails are better i did not notice a difference in the price where i purchased them they're $5.99 at Target, at Walmart, I believe it's the same. You can get them now at Ulta, which is awesome. And I believe some Ultas have them in store, along with my other favorite, Press On Nail, the Dashing Diva Nails. Oh my gosh, they're so good. If you haven't tried these nails out and you've been thinking about it, I highly recommend that you do. I don't think you'll be disappointed, especially at the price. I mean, you can't lose. The other great thing about these nails that I talked about in the previous video is they don't damage your real nails underneath. I'll show you guys what my nails looked like prior to putting these ones on. These are the Impress Halloween nails. They're super cute, but my nails are growing really, really nicely under here, and they're not damaged at all. On top of that, the nails last me, I would say, a good week and a half. I think by then, I can start to feel them moving and they're ready to come off. Some of them are still there and they wanna stay on, but I'm ready to switch out <laughs> the manicure. I have been doing this for well over a year and I am still super obsessed. I've got two little boys, I change their beds, I do laundry, I do baths, I do, like I'm hard on my nails and these guys last. So that really does it for this video. I know it was short and sweet. I hope that everybody had a happy Halloween or has a happy Halloween. I'm not sure when this video will go up. If you did like the video, I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing before you go. That does it for this video and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.